My name is Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked we talked about and uh, about installation of uh, integrated uh, uh, environment and how do we have installed uh, Dev C++. And today uh, we are going to answer two questions. What is the structure of C and what are the syntax of C? So let's uh, start with what is uh, the structure of C. And basically there are actually five structure of C and uh, we are starting up with the first one. And the first one uh, basically is what we call a preprocessor. A preprocessor director. Preprocessor director basically these are predefined library files which are inbuilt in C and there are several of them and uh, let's see an example of one or two of them the first example we can talk about uh, it's called a standard abbreviated as std input output abbreviated as io and this is a file called .h uh, so a standard input output uh, 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 a library file and basically this particular library file contains some uh, functions such as printf and scanf the printf function basically is the one which is going to print uh, on your screen uh, whatever statement you have written and scanf is going to actually collect uh, data from your keyboard mouse other one we can say it is what you call uh, a console which is abbreviated as con and then input output so anything from the console input output uh, which is also a dot h uh, it is actually uh, in this particular library file and it has to be included under the preprocessor directive example of that will be uh, having up a function such as clear uh, clear the screen function or you get character uh, uh, from the uh, from the console so get char as one of them other uh, which is mostly uh, commonly used is what you call a the math dot h and the math.h has got various mathematical functions which are inbuilt, such as uh, what you call the rand, which is going to be supposed to uh, generate random numbers. And also you can have the power of function, which will take about the power of a particular line. So to see it practically, now uh, we go back into our dev C++ and uh, uh, we actually write that we have the hash sign which will be followed by uh, the include. These are the keywords for us to tell uh, the, the machine that we are including a particular file from C and we are using up uh, uh, opening and closing uh, 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 brackets to include what? Standard input output dot h file so in this particular file now we are allowed to use any of the functions which are inside this particular file and in our case here we are going to use uh, the print uh, f or the scan f uh, file the second uh, element uh, the second element uh, the second element the second element will be the main function
The main function basically they are of two types. There is what you call parameterized. A parameterized function will take up some arguments. Will take up some arguments uh, uh, such as uh, uh, maybe an int see and uh, maybe a, a pointer character a pointer uh, a pointer array and the second type is what you call none parameterized the none parameterized uh, actually does not take anything uh, inside it so maybe it will just be either int main with nothing inside here or also it cannot return anything also you can have maybe void main so these are the two types of the main function so to implement it into C uh, basically we are going uh, to write into dev plus plus maybe just int main and we'll have the non parameterized uh, uh, one so and then let's move on to the third one and here the third one we are talking about a statement so let's see what is a statement and basically when we are talking about a statement uh, uh, this basically are what you call line of codes which we are supposed to give up instructions or instructions which are, are supposed to be given up uh, to a machine and basically when you're talking about line of codes there are also uh, two types we have got the ones which is called a single line of code and uh, Basically, a single line of code, they have to be terminated by semicolon, and then we have got block of codes. And the block of code is a collection of uh, single codes, and actually, they have been put up into opening and closing curly bracket. So, if you're going back to uh, Dev C++, basically, here, we are going to have a block of statement. So, uh, we are going to have opening and closing uh, brackets. So, uh, opening and closing brackets, and inside it is where we are going to write up our instructions. The next item onto this, we are going to talk about our variables. And uh, when we're talking about a variable, uh, a variable uh, uh, can be defined. As a container which will hold on uh, some value or some text for us to display uh, into memory because uh, in memory how it works we have to have um, uh, some container to hold up uh, uh, your, your values or to hold up uh, your text to be displayed and basically they are of two types we have what you call a local variable and what you call a global variable. So local variables, basically they are uh, defined within the block statement or within a function. So here we'll have our local variable inside here and our global variable, uh, which can, uh, local variable are accessed just within uh, the function a global variable they access within the whole program and they define uh, uh, before the uh, the main method so here you will have our, our global variables and the last part of it will be talking about comments so comments also there are two type there is what you call a single comment and a, a multiple comment. A single comment they are preceded by two forward slash 
and uh, multiple comments they are preceded by a forward slash asterisk and then they are ended by an asterisk and a forward clash slash so here yeah, basically we'll put up a, up a comment of a single line and uh, maybe you are going to say my first program so so unique what is unique about uh, uh, comments comments they are meant to make up your program to become a breathable and uh, uh, they are not executed by computer so if you want to see uh, the result of a program and see how it works basically uh, we are going uh, to use some of the functions in the function which are there in the standard input output so let's take up one of the functions we have discussed before and that is the printf so here we can say printf and uh, basically under printf we are using up a double quotation to put up any text onto it and we are going to discuss more why you are putting up other correction so maybe you can say uh, hello world I am using C so remember when we talked about statements all the statements must end up uh, must end up with a semicolon so this particular statement also must end up with a semicolon after that then we can actually this will be a basic structure of C that will have a preprocessor directive will have uh, a main function and then we'll have a block of statements inside they can be here although we have got only one you can have more than one statement so we'll have a, a, a opening and closing curly bracket so let's run and we can see what will happen so I want to run and uh, compile at the same time so when I run and compile it prompts me uh, to write up uh, the name and uh, you can write up any name maybe here you are writing up my first program so let's write it as my first program so when we save already I have got one my first program so I can overwrite it and here we are we can see here saying hello world I'm using up my first program so basically this is uh, uh, what the structure of C and in one and, and here we are reaching up at, uh, at the end of our first uh, question what is the structure programming in our next video we are going to answer our question what is this uh, the syntax of C programming thank you for watching and remember uh, to subscribe below for any new updates <music> Thank you.